so after uh, one lakh five thousand kilometers i can say the very first thing the first part actually failed on me and what is that as you may be able to see that i am experiencing a little bit of oil leakage from the cam cover around the injector area and the oil has started to get deposit on the rear side so what we are going to do today is we are going to pull out two injectors injector number third and fourth it's mounted with the help of same bracket and held in with the help of a spline bolt we need to open two diesel lines high pressure diesel lines one this one this side as well and from this side as well you need to open it with the help of 17 mm open end spanner both the sides very first thing is to disconnect the electrical connections and the wiring is going back into the turbocharger which is preventing us to remove the wiring from the top of the injector so we are going to remove that as well just do not there is a wiring clamp down okay let's remove the uh, diesel lines first it's a 17 so after you remove this piece completely it will be a lot easy to reach this one so let me remove it and get back to you this will result in a little bit loss of fuel like 10 15 drops not much so now the access to this one is much more easier now now the next step is to remove these return lines from the injectors for that as you can see we have a metal clip here you can press a little bit from the behind and then you can insert a screwdriver in between the space and you can pull these out and make sure you are not going to lose it because these are very hard to get new ones and now before opening the injectors you need to write down the injector codes I don't know whether it's visible on camera that this injector has a injector code on the third line 6EGAAB and exactly this one has 9FCGFF so you need to put the injectors back into the same location otherwise you are going to experience fuel related issues economy related issues performance related issues and all those until unless you recode the injectors so keep that in mind now just have to pull these out and then remove this bolt I totally forgot to mention the most important thing I want to tell you. This is exactly the process you need to follow if you want to replace one of your injectors or all of those. So I may just need to get through that rubber seal uh, beneath the injector but that's exactly the same process. So as you can see uh, these return lines have been removed. Now the only thing left is to remove that bolt and yes this bolt is a m8 bit you need and i'll try to link all my tools in the description because that is one question i answer every time to multiple people so if you want description of the tools go check out the descriptions So as you've seen this is not a bolt which was tied down very very tightly it is a small threaded bolt you don't want to tie it down very tight because it will break and it's also a tty bolt of the yield 
it is supposed to be used one time but actually I'm just trying to have a look so I'm gonna use this bolt again my rubber gasket is on the way it's in the order so as soon as it reach I'm gonna replace it again now as you can see we can rotate the injectors a little bit both of them but we need to rotate both of them at same time and do a lot of jiggle wiggle to, and pull them out at the same time to remove that so let me do that and get back to you now both the injectors are loose we can pull these out and you can see a hell a lot of cook just because of the so clean those areas as well so i've cleaned everything pushed the injector back onto their positions i've cleaned everything to the best of my abilities because it's, it's a tight space i literally picked the dust and the oil combination with the help of a flat blade screwdriver so now we have to perform the same steps in the reverse order just keeping in mind the most important thing that you don't need to over tight this screw if it will break you need to open the cam cover most probably the cradle the cam cradle as well just to get this thing out so beware of this this one thing so everything back on the position car has started no engine check no check engine lights or MIL that's what we want <laughs> 